Welcome to Meditation. I'm Rebecca, and I welcome you. And uh, I have a, a spring flower behind me uh, because I'm excited for spring. All right, so, and please pardon, I have uh, my chronic uh, spring cough. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's the uh, mixed, <laughs> the mixed blessing of the pollen. Um, but I love the flowers anyway. I don't blame them. So last week we talked about noticing our thoughts when we're meditating, right? We, you know, sometimes the instruction that we get is to clear your mind of thinking. And uh, I don't know about you, but my mind likes to think. And so what the instruction for the kind of meditation that I teach generally, which is insight meditation, is that we notice our thoughts. And then in the noticing, we are able to separate ourselves just a little bit from the thought. So the thought doesn't take us away from ourselves. And then when we notice the thought, we're able to come back to whatever we've chosen to be our sacred center, our anchor or touchstone, which is sometimes the breath and sometimes sensation and sometimes something you hear or something you're looking at. Uh, and you choose what those, uh, you know, touchstone, sacred center items are, depending on what works best for you. I generally cue breath, but if if breath is difficult for you, then please feel free to work with a sensation, a sound. Some of us have ticking clocks or even, a, <laughs> pardon me, a musical metronome that you might hear click, click, click in the background. Um, or even, you know, if you happen to be blessed to be near the ocean and you can hear the ocean waves or whatever uh, kinds of sounds might be in your space. Um, that could be a good place to go when you're working on staying focused. So last week we talked about ways of managing thoughts. And we started with the concept of, ah, thinking, that, that awareness that a thought has come up. And then we talked about ways of dealing with the thought by separating yourself from the thought. I am not my thoughts. I am not my emotions. I am not even my sensations. I am the observer of those things. So that, ah, uh, I'm thinking separates us just a little bit, gives us a little bit of working room, as it were. And there are lots of ways, there are lots of ways of putting the thoughts into something that you can then send on its way. So sometimes we use puffy white clouds in the sky, right? So the thought, ah, that's a cloud. It's no longer a thought, now it's a cloud and it can float away. Uh, I Last week I, I shared my personal favorite, which is bubbles, you know, like you blow bubbles and the thought goes into the bubble and then I pop it in my mind metaphorically and the thought dissipates. And then there's another one right behind it. You know, when you blow bubbles, there are lots of them but if we can notice, oh, wait, I'm thinking, that's a thought, that's a feeling, that's a sensation that's distracting me, then we can send it on its way. Another metaphor that is sometimes popular is the train, right? You're in a train station and the thought comes in like a train. You get to notice the train, but you choose not to get on the train. So yes, it's an extended metaphor of, you know, train of thought, but we, we separate ourselves so we can see the thought, the train, and then let it go on to its next destination, which doesn't have to include us. So today I wanted to talk about becoming aware 
of the judgments that come up when the thoughts come up. So the definition of mindfulness is to be aware, to be mindful, to notice your thoughts without judgment and with great compassion. And that's aspirational, I think, because we do make judgments, you know, a million times a day, we're judging, we're like, oh, that was bad, or, oh, that was good, you know. And I, my, uh, my request to you today, or my challenge, I guess, <laughs> my challenge, I guess, is to begin to notice that you are making judgments and to neutralize them. So notice the thought, notice the judgment without getting caught up in it, right? So not, oh my God, that's a bad thought. Oh, what am I doing? You know, so just saying, oh, I'm judging this as bad. And then releasing that by neutralizing the emotion, neutralizing the good and bad, the polarity of the thought. And the way that I've worked with this personally is by making a neutral statement or a neutral thought. Um, I had a wonderful uh, leader that I worked with who uh, would use the phrase, the sky is blue, right? It's just something true. It's just something that you might observe and it doesn't have, it's not necessarily good or necessarily bad, the sky is blue. So maybe there's something that for you, this flower is purple, there's a flower, something that is neutral, that you can redirect this judgment to, even if it's a good judgment, right? Even if it's positive, we want to stay with this sort of neutral corridor. So we're going to do a meditation today that's a blue sky meditation. And it comes from this idea of the neutral thought, the sky is blue. And so I'll lead you in uh, using the breath and give you, pardon me, a moment to begin to notice this idea of noticing the thought and neutralizing the judgment that comes with the thought. And then we'll just go into a nice open space of clear blue sky, all right? So go ahead and situate yourself in your meditative posture. And that might be sitting up with good support where you can maybe feel your feet on the ground or if you're sitting cross-legged, that's wonderful too. Um, allow yourself to be really well supported so you're not just you know kind of slumping, but also comfortable, right? We want to be able to be awake. We want to have an alive, uh, I have a teacher who calls it an elegant spine. So allow your spine to be elongated, letting your crown reach either towards the sky, like a beautiful flower, or if you're lying down, another very good, comfortable posture, think about elongating your spine along the ground. So making sure that you are comfortable um, so that you can avoid a lot of fidgeting once you get into the, uh, the deep meditation. Of course, if you become uncomfortable, please change your position, but try to avoid the sort of, you know, fixing your hair and your shirt and itching itches. Uh, try to let those things become less and less and stay in, in place. Begin to notice your breath. Your eyes can be open or closed. If they're open, allow them to come into soft, focus. So you're not looking around, maybe you're glancing at something and allowing the breath to be in soft focus, the breath, the vision. <laughs> Your breath can also be in soft focus. I love that. Begin to notice your breath. 
the expansiveness of your inhales and the release and letting go of your exhales. Lengthening the spine as you inhale, reaching the crown gently. And giving in just a little bit to gravity as you ground through your exhales. Let the breath be comfortable and softly flowing. Begin to let go. From the crown of the head, imagine that core of strength that's coming up through the center of your body that allows the edges to become soft. So softening around your skull, your face, your neck and jaw, letting your shoulders drop away from your ears, arms heavy and supportive, palms open. Allow a softness in the middle body. Breath expanding and softening. Allow your belly to be unclenched. Let it expand with each inhale and gently fall with each exhale. Releasing through the rib cage, the lower back, letting your hips be heavy and grounded, soft and open, legs heavy and relaxed. softening through your knees, your ankles, your lower legs, your calves, and through your feet. Unclench your toes. And as you inhale, imagine that you're expanding up through the crown of your head into a clear blue sky. As you exhale, you soften and sink. And each inhale draws your energy up through the crown of your head into this vast, expansive, clear blue sky. As thoughts arrive, notice and neutralize, sending your energy into the clear blue sky. Coming back again and again to the breath, to sensation, to a sense of expansiveness, being open. Thoughts will arrive. will notice them and neutralize them. The sky is blue. Breathing into a vast expanse of blue sky.
Begin to deepen your breath. Bringing small movements into hands and feet, arms and legs. Maybe slowly rolling your head from side to side. If you're lying down when you feel ready, roll to one side and pause. And then slowly make your way up to sitting, allowing your attention to stay deeply inward for another moment or two. We'll seal our practice with one chant of Om for the community we create, even from across the country <laughs> when we meditate together. Bringing hands together, we'll inhale. Oh, oh, Shanti, peace, peace, peace. Jai Bhagwan. May the light in each of us be victorious. Thank you for sharing your practice with me and with each other.